Find your breath. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths to emphasize the feeling of the breath in the body. And if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. Otherwise, you can change. Try to get as interested as possible in the breathing. That way there's less of your mind to go wandering around and commenting on other things. You've got the breath in the torso, the breath that tor courses along your nerves and your blood vessels all the way out to the tips of the fingers, tips of the toes. The breath in the head. So make a survey and have a strong sense that when the breath is good, it's going to be good for the body and good for the mind, so you want to make it as good as possible. The more absorbed you get in the breathing, the more you'll notice, and at the same time, the less power other things will have over you. Therefore, casting that today and tomorrow are going to be really hot, and if you're not fully invested in something else, fully absorbed in something else, the heat is going to start bothering you. Now you do what you need to do in order to deal with the heat. Make sure you drink more water than you ordinarily would. Get a little extra salt. And look after your mind. Find a quiet, shady place and get absorbed in something else. The heat can do its own thing. It's not that the more you think about it, the more you're going to keep it at bay or keep it under control. Actually, the more you think about it, the more you aggravate it. You can think about other things. When the Buddha was sick, there was that time when Devadatta tried to hurl a rock down the mountain. And the rock hit another rock, there were some stone splinters, and one of the stone splinters pierced the Buddha's foot. So he had this stone splinter going through his foot. So they removed it. You can imagine what the pain was like. Mara came to taunt him. Are you sitting here, lying here moping? And the Buddha said, I'm not moping, I'm spreading goodwill to all beings. So if the breath isn't absorbing enough, try to spread some goodwill to everybody. Think about people you find it easy to feel goodwill for, and then move to other places to people where it's not so easy. But ask yourself, what is goodwill? It's the wish that people would, will find true happiness. And we know that true happiness doesn't come just from our wishing it, it comes from their seeing the causes for true happiness, understanding them, and acting on them. And so for people who are difficult, you just wish, okay, may they see the causes for true happiness, which means they're going to be changing their ways if they act on the causes for true happiness. The world will be a better place. So that's a thought you can think without hypocrisy. And because your happiness comes from within and their happiness comes from within, there's no conflict between your happiness and theirs, your true happiness and theirs. So this is a thought that you can wish for all. This is why it's called unlimited or immeasurable. Try to make your mind immeasurable. And then little things that come your way, like the fact that it's hot today and maybe cold in a couple months. That gets a lot smaller, has less impact on the mind. So you look after the body as you need to, and then you look after the mind. Because the suffering doesn't come from outside, it doesn't come from the heat, it comes from what you do with things. And as long as you're engaged in skillful activities right now, skillful thoughts, skillful topics for your meditation, the mind doesn't have to suffer. Or at the very least, its sufferings go way down. So learn how to master the skill of getting really absorbed in something skillful. And you find that a lot of the pains and disappointments and everything else that the mind likes to carry around just get shed away.